Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you can see we are in my bathroom and I don't have any makeup on and that is because I'm gonna try out and review the Alloy Skincare Supercharge Bundle which I literally got in the mail yesterday. I haven't tried anything of their products yet so it's gonna be a first review and a first impressions video. I was kindly sent a box for free to test it out and give my review and tell you guys what I think about the product. I'm not paid to say anything positive or negative. It's literally just my own first impression and my review on the products. So first up on opening the box, what I already really love is the packaging material that you find in here. So this is the kind of material you can literally just put into water and it dissolves into nothing. So there's no plastic involved in here, it's literally just like this dissolvable packaging material and a cardboard box. And then for the products, we have, as I mentioned, the supercharged uh, skincare bundle, which I'm going to link down in the info box. But we have the micellar water, we have a serum, we have the famous pink clay mask, we have a facial scrub, a moisturizer and a pink face cloth. So yeah, so without further ado, let's get started and try all the products out. I'm going to put my headband on to not get my hair dirty. To start off with, that is my skin before, as you can see, I do have some spots around here and here and like some old scars and yeah, some little outbreaks every now and then. It is just healing, so it is getting a bit better, but I have like bigger pores around here, this area and some blackheads on my nose. But that is my skin beforehand. It is a bit dry at the moment. I have dry patches around my mouth and my eyes. I just always get them around winter time when heating is on. So I'd definitely be happy to try something out that's a bit more moisturizing and also um, something that helps me against my uh, blackheads and my spots that I have. So I'm excited to try it out and see what the products can do. So to start off, we're gonna use the Foaming Micellar Cleanser, which is infused with witch hazel and watermelon seed oil. And this is to take off any makeup that you might have on. So I personally always take off my makeup with a face cloth first, and then I finish off with a micellar cleansing water. I'm gonna use one and a half pumps. I think one pump even would be enough. And I'm just gonna apply it onto my skin. And it smells really nice and it feels super, super nice on the skin. Super soft. I'm gonna use the face cloth again. I'm gonna remove any excess. I really like the way this form applies. The one I have. As soon as I apply it, it feels like it disappears into nothing where this one kind of stays foamy and really soft and silky on your skin. So very nice, really love it. So after I'm done with cleaning my face, I'm gonna move on to the peeling that comes in the kit as well, which uses pomegranate seed powder to deeply exfoliate your skin. And it says for all skin types. So again, I'm just gonna use a little bit. Oh, it has a really nice color like this pinky white and I'm gonna apply it all over my skin and gently rub it in. Personally I have a little bit of dry skin especially now in the winter time so appealing is really nice to kind of get rid of the dry patches if you have any but be really careful don't go overboard with peeling I normally use it max once a week not more often otherwise you might actually damage your skin and I'm just gonna rub it in everywhere. It has a lot of little pieces in the peeling itself, so a lot of little pomegranate seeds. Again, it smells very light. It smells a little bit of roses, I would say, but not too much. And after I work this in for, I would say about a minute, so not too long, I'm not pressing too much, but like gently working it in in circles, I'm gonna take it off again with the cloth. And as I said, I absolutely love peelings when you have dry patches because it gets rid of all the flakiness. And now we're moving on to the product I'm actually most excited about using, which is the famous Australian pink clay mask. You've probably seen people wearing this mask all over Instagram. It is this white pinkish mask and it's supposed to help detoxify and brighten your skin. So especially if you have little spots as I do or blackheads, it should help with that. And it looks like this and I'm going to use a little brush, but you could also use your fingers for that. And I'm going to apply it all over my face. Oh, the color is really, really cool. 
and that is it applied. Why does this face mask look so cool? I really love the way it looks on my skin. I'm gonna let it sit for, I would say, 15 to 20 minutes until it's all dry, and then I'll be right back. A few moments later. So we have about 15 minutes later, and you can tell the face mask is all dry now. Now you can tell that it's a clay face mask because it's like very stiff, and I'm actually quite excited to take it off now. So I'm gonna use the cloth again, and I'm just gonna wipe everything off. Honestly, trying all those products out right now feels like an actual at-home spa day. My skin feels so, so soft right now and so nourished and moisturized, even though there's no moisturizer on yet. So, so far, so good. I really like the product. And moving on to the final steps, which is moisturizing my face. So first of all, we have a serum for the whole face. And this is the Vitamin C Supercharged Serum with Kakadu Plum, Desert Lime, Finger Lime Caviar and Lily Pilly and hyaluronic acid. So again, this is a serum that helps with like moisturizing, nourishing your skin, which as I said, I really need right now. So I'm very excited to use it. It says apply one to two pumps to cleanse skin morning and evening. So I'm gonna try one, two. I'm just gonna apply it all over my face. Again, same smell as the other products. Not very scented, but there's a slight rosy hint to it. it feels very silk like very soft and i also like to bring down any serums to my neck i try to not forget about it it already starts to sink in and normally with hyaluronic serums they are really really sticky that's why i'm normally not the biggest fan of them but this one isn't sticky at all it's like really silk like there's no stickiness to it so i really love that one i'm very excited so far and moving on to the final step which is their native berries moisturizer with macadamia oil to hydrate restore and replenish your skin and again this is for all skin types and i haven't mentioned yet all of the products are cruelty free which i'm a huge huge fan of so big thumbs up for that and for the moisturizer i'm just gonna use a tiny bit and again all over my skin. Mm, it feels really nice. I might have actually used a little bit too much. I feel like it's a bit greasy now because I use quite a lot so you actually don't need that much as I just used. And I tried to bring it down to my neck again. I did watch a couple of other reviews before and I could see people say that this moisturizer is very oily. I wouldn't categorize this as an oily moisturizer. I would just say it is a bit more thick and creamy. It's not a moisturizer that sinks into your skin within 30 seconds and it's gone. I think personally I would tend to more use this moisturizer in the evening because it feels a bit thicker and heavier on the skin which is not a bad thing. It feels very moisturizing but maybe not ideal for makeup on top so I personally think I'm going to use it in the evenings. And those are all the products applied as I said it literally felt like an at home spa day. It was really nice to give my skin an overall treatment from a nice peeling to a clay mask to moisturizing them so overall i really really loved the whole experience of using the product but i think especially my favorite ones are the clay mask i really liked the way it made my skin feel so soft but i also think the peeling had to do with that so the peeling and the clay mask in combination i really really like and also the serum i was super surprised that the hyaluronic serum doesn't leave my skin sticky and it just made it feel silky smooth after applying it. So I think those three are my favorite products out of the whole bundle. Let's also quickly look at the skin after I've applied all the products. As you can see, it is really, really smooth. It is a tiny bit red at the moment because of the peeling. I do have slightly sensitive skin, so hence I'm using a peeling just once a week. But overall, it is so smooth. It feels like there is some silk on top. All the little flakes and bumps of where my skin are gone thanks to the peeling but yeah overall experience i think the whole bundle is really really nice and i'm very happy that i could test it out for you guys let me know down in the comments below if you have ever tried any of their products or if you want to try any and otherwise give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye